one of the components of the of sexual assault that I am actually not terribly familiar with. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's see, who else? The library may have an opinion on that. Sure. Uh, so first of all, I think the, the with, re, with respect to red flag knowledge, I think the, the, the courts have interpreted it correctly. Uh, the, the office acknowledges that it's by changing the red flag knowledge standards as they're suggesting, it could very well require uh, 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 notice and stay down, i.e. filtering of some sort. So that would uh, move towards uh, an EU uh, uh, model uh, that really would have very serious First Amendment issues. So, um, you know, this is an area where just, uh, you know, minor changes, you, you, you know, could have, as you suggest, very serious unintended consequences. And, and again, the report itself acknowledges that, that changing the red flag knowledge stance could very well lead to, uh, as a practical matter, uh, a filtering requirements. And for the bigger platforms, that's not a big problem. Um, for the smaller platforms, that could be a very serious issue. Certain libraries, if they needed to start doing that, that would be very costly. Uh, but also, it could have uh, very serious impacts on users. I see my time's up, and I have a lot of other questions. I want to thank the uh, Copyright Office for the work it's put in. And just note that I do think copyright modernization is going to advance the cause of compensation for artists tremendously. It's not going to solve all the problems, but it's going to be a huge help for artists and creators in getting paid for their work. And I will uh, defer other questions to uh, my written opportunity and thank each and every one of the witnesses for being with us today and sharing their perspective. And I yield back.